Okay, question 18, probably the hardest question on the paper. It's seven marks, it's unguided, you're not given any instruction. You've got to keep your wits about you here and think very, very carefully. We want to work out the area of ABCD. So let's just state to the examiner what we're going to do. The area of ABCD would be the area of the two triangles added up, surely. It would be the area of this right angle triangle plus the area of this. It would be area of one plus the area of two. Okay? Now, uh, we could go about trying to find the area of each of the different ones. Okay, so we're going to try and do that. I'm actually going to start with the non-right angle triangle here. We've got a lot of information here. Now, let's, so just for your information, what I'm working on currently, I'm going to work on this triangle here. Okay, now firstly, we have two of the angles in it, so we could clearly work this one out here. This uh, angle there, uh, so I could state my working here, I'm working at angle DCB, must be 180, subtract 43, subtract 39, which is equal to 98. So this angle here is 98 degrees. Now, straight away, I have myself a side and an angle opposite. And I could use that to work out one of the other sides. And the reason I want to do that is I know in the formula booklet that the area of any triangle, a non-right angle triangle, is a half AB sine C. By that I mean a half, two of the sides, and the sine of the angle in between them. I've only got one side now, so if I worked out another side, that would be sufficient. So let's use the sine rule here. Now I want to work out this side here. Let's say for, for argument's sake. So I'm going to call the side I want to work out little a. Okay, forget what they're calling it, so the angle across from it is big A. Okay, and I've got the side little b, so the angle across from it is big B. Okay, so I'm going to write down that A, that I don't know, over sine 39 must be equal to 9 over sine 98. And rearranging it, A is therefore 9 sine 39, multiplying both sides by sine 39 here all over sine 98. So therefore A is equal to 9 sine, and make sure you calculate this in degrees mode, so it's 9 sine 39 over sine of 98. And when we do that, we get ourselves 5.71. So we get 5.7195, blah, blah, blah. So therefore the area of two the area of this one here is a half AB sine C. Now forget about what we've called it before. What I mean by that is a half multiplied by two sides we know. We know the 9 and we know A is 5.7195. And the sine of the angle in between them multiplied by sine 43 being the angle between them. If I type that in my calculator, I get that the area of 2 is 17.5 centimeters squared. That's the area of two. Okay? Okay, now I want to work out the area of triangle one. So go back to this here. I've got the area of triangle uh, two. Now I want to work out the area of triangle one. Now I'm going to draw myself a little picture here. I know that's 57, I'm redrawing this on its side, that's the right angle, this is 9 centimetres here, I don't know this and I don't know this. Now, again, uh, I could do two things here, given that I know this, I could use Sokotoa to work out that side, Sokotoa to work out that side, do base times height divided by 2, and I get the area. I could, so I could do that, okay, and maybe I will do that, just to show you what it looks like. But I'll also show you another way of doing it, perhaps slightly easier. All I need is, uh, I could use a half AB sine C here. I could work out this side here, call this side the adjacent, okay? And I could use Sokotoa. I've got A and H, so I use Ka, 
cos of 57 must be a over 9, so therefore a must be 9 cos 57. Which I don't have to work out, but now I could use a half a b sine c, because I've got a side, another side, and the angle between them, so the area of this triangle must be a half multiplied by 9, multiplied by this side here, which is 9 cos 57, multiplied by sine of 57. And if I work that out there, I would get 0.5 times 9 times 9 cos 57 times sine 57. I get myself at 18.499 centimetres squared. I add that number and that number and I get myself as my final answer 36 point uh, zero five centimeter squared okay the other way of doing it is I use Sokoto to find out that I use Sokoto to find out that and I do base times height over two trust me I will still get 18.499 so the answer is 36.05 centimeter squared for that seven marker